Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Gemini, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Gemini. Show me more. Show me more. Okay. So what do we have for you, Gemini? We have trust issues, insecurities, self-love, taking care of me now, chaos, shadows, hidden, unknown, mysterious, karmic connection, detox, spiritual cleansing, mental mind against manipulation. Okay, so what I am, get, get, what I am getting here, Gemini, that um, there is a specific connection here that it's showing up in this reading for you, but I feel that you've been through a lot with this person it feels uh, momentarily you might have been you know losing sleep over this this individual it feels like it is a karmic connection or uh, this person is involved with karmic and that's why the whole situation is quite challenging because i feel that something here it's hidden you know, you might not know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Scenes, It feels very chaotic, this whole situation. Uh, maybe there is a tension between the two of you. I feel that, you know, you don't fully trust this person, you know, with distrust issues here. Hmm. I'm getting drama, drama. This person might be a karmic connection, Gemini, or this person is involved with a karmic. And that's why it's challenging. It's very challenging. I feel that um, what I am getting that you are sick and tired of the situation and you might have decided to kind of distance yourself from it. We have detox, spiritual cleanse. So, you know, I feel that you thought about the situation and at the end of the day, you've kind of came into conclusion that maybe for now it's better to kind of, you know, detached or emotionally distance from that situation because uh, that energy is quite low vibrational, I must admit. We have self-love, so I feel that, you know, now you are, you are taking care of yourself. You are focusing on yourself, what is important for you. You're making healthy choices. You're putting yourself first and your, and your well-being, which is great. Which is great because I feel that you've been through a lot with this individual. A lot. And you don't fully trust the situation. Because even if this person kind of is showing up, there is something about them that they are bringing this energy of, of, of the moon, which is essentially, you know, <laughs> secrets, can be lies, you know, uncertainty, not knowing what all this whole situation is about. We have strings, we have mental mind games, manipulation. You're dealing here with someone who is manipulative. This person is showing up in this reading for you, collective. They might have cho they might have chosen karmic over you, but I'm getting that we'll see. We'll see what Tara will tell us. But I feel that in general, this is quite low vibrational energy, and I feel that you made the decision to to kind of detach from it you 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 are investing in yourself essentially because this person it's playing mind games manipulation is very highly emphasized 
in this reading as well. I don't know how to arrange this for you. No, let's do it that way. Yeah? Okay. I don't feel you fully trust this person. But let's see. Let's see, Gemini. What's going on? Could you please show us more about the situation? We have a Wheel of Fortune. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we've been talking about. Something here might have ended between the two of you. And I feel that was some kind of uh, divine intervention. Because things were getting way too much. And I feel that whole situation has been very, very draining. Wheel of Fortune, I feel that, you know, the fact that we are opening your reading with the Wheel of Fortune, that indicates that... For some of you might felt that you know you didn't have much control over the circumstances or over how the situation developed you know and then we have the death card which is endings something here ending also of course transformation new beginnings and then we have a nine of cups which is really beautiful because it feels like because you made a certain decision I'm getting that you're attracting something really positive to your life. This is this is a wish card, some sort of big wish fulfillment. It's on the horizon. You will get what you want. You might be dealing with Scorpio. I have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But it's like it was meant, this connection to kind of... Um, I f what I am getting here that it was m with this Wheel of Fortune because this is like a destiny card. I feel that it was kind of destined for both of you to meet up. I mean, to you know, to meet. Uh, and I am getting that it was meant to, for instance, for now, to for both of you to part your ways. And it's like it's for for your for your higher good because we have the nine of cups next to next to this card next to the death card and it feels like you know something really positive it's it's showing up for you but let's see really positive it's like a reward from the universe Show me more. Mm -hmm. We have Ace of Swords. Show me more about this situation. Tower. This person caused the tower moment. More Scorpio. Aries energy. Show me more, please, for Gemini. King of Wands, Ten of Swords. My gosh, who is that person? Gemini. Six of Swords. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have Justice, Strength and Judgment. You might be dealing with Libra. I have Leo and more Scorpio, have very strong Scorpio in this reading. You might have placements. In Scorpio, this person has strong placements in Scorpio as well. Let me just... <laughs> I don't know how to... Okay, let's do it that way. Okay. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel that you chose yourself essentially Gemini what they showing me here in this reading essentially a nightmare situation I that I feel that you've been through so much with this individual Gemini we have the tower the death cut and ten of swords 
I mean, this person caused the tower moment. They did something, it was unexpected, it was shocking. I feel it turned your life upside down in a certain, uh, at some point. This king of wands. I feel that you are dealing here, uh, you dealt with someone who, or this, this person here is showing up in this reading, who is very charming, very charismatic, very attractive, but they think very highly of themselves. I feel there was at some point a certain conversation, very straightforward, very clear conversation with the Ace of Swords and things just ended. And also there was some sort of kind of revealed of truth that it was incredibly emotionally painful for you. You've experienced disappointment, but it, it's not, I, I, I can't even explain how how intense this energy is it's not just a disappointment you know that people are oh, okay well it didn't work out i wish it could have but it didn't work out right this is something else this is something else i it i think some sort of truth or you find out about something with this ace of swords someone told you something and it was just it, it feels like it when you find out about it I feel that it was so difficult to kind of metaphorically saying digest this information or this situation that it's just I feel like you felt being played defeated it's just like it's it was a, such a massive betrayal of trust from this person that I feel it was a really difficult to overcome this but you've picked yourself up Gemini you've done it and I can only applaud you for that because when I see this energy that it's not just emotional disappointment this is emotional upheaval this is this is really strong energy of of I can't even I, I of something that was really so emotionally painful that it was really difficult to kind of deal with I'm getting but you've done it you've over you've overcome you've overcome it Sorry for my grammar, but it's just I am quite shocked when I see cards like this. This is in the past. You might still feel momentarily, you know, those sort of kind of uh, emotions. But with the nine of cups and a six of swords, I'm seeing that your wish will be granted. You know, you'll get what you want. You're manifesting here fulfillment, abundance and prosperity. So um, it might be very important for you during this time to um, to focus, uh, to direct your focus on, on, on that particular thing. Or it might be very important for you to maintain a positive mindset. That's what I wanted to say. Because what you are focusing on, you are attracting to your life. But with the Six of Swords, you are moving towards calmer waters. You are detaching from it, essentially. You are detaching from this huge disappointment that this person caused. From this emotional upheaval. From this sadness, tears, and this shocking thing that they have done to this connection. You are detaching. Six of Swords is energy of moving towards calmer times, bringing more harmony, tranquility, to the current situation when we have justice justice strength and judgment this is karma we have a will of fortune you are receiving very positive karma because you have this nine of cups here so a certain because i feel that you know you are 100 percent true uh 
to yourself. Of course, cross watcher, the roles can be reversed. Um, you are receiving very positive karma. I'm getting that whatever happened here between you and this person, it's essentially made you stronger. I'm also getting very strongly that this person is receiving their karma. And they are thinking very much here to come forward. Mm -hmm. Because judgment is an energy of the past. It feels very strongly here, Gemini, that this person wants to resurrect something with you. But in order to, to do that, they need to balance things out with you. But you, I don't feel you trust this individual. They ways. We have a seven of cups as an overall energy. This is someone who brought enormous amount of confusion, uncertainty. They were promising you so many things. Illusions are strongly associated with this card. You know, I feel that this person indeed, at some point they made you feel that you are an option or the priority, or they, or, you know, they came across that they like to keep their options open. And at some point, indeed, they might have uh, started to entertain karmic. And they became karmic themselves. Queen of Cups. Let's see. Let's see, Gemini. It's interesting. Time to move on. <laughs> right? Let's see. Let's see this person's feelings. Show me this person's feelings. Show me this person's feelings towards Gemini, please. Three of Cups. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands and Five of Pentacles. This person is missing you with the Five of Pentacles. And what we have here, Eight of Swords. This is someone who is still stuck on you with the Eight of Swords. They haven't moved on. Three of Cups, yeah, they are missing you. They are missing good times. Four of Wands, you might be dealing here with unhealed twin or twin who became karmic and because it's very, it is possible for twin to become karmic and it's actually quite easy. If someone is just insist on entertaining you know karmic relationships or connections, they became they become they be. They, um, they are going to become karmic because they are, they are surrounding themselves with that karmic energy. <sighs> Nevertheless, I'm getting very strongly here, Gemini, that this person in their feelings, they are missing good times. That, that at some point were present in this connection four of wands <laughs> this is someone who who wants stability with you who wants relationship this person here is missing your present presence this is someone who's missing that maybe stability that you are bringing to their life that you used to bring to their life you know this person wants reconciliation that's what it's in their feelings. That's why this whole reading is about. And I feel that you detach from it. Or you've kind of, you know, you've distanced yourself from it. But this person is thinking about you. And with the Eight of Swords, they, 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 no, this is someone who is still stuck on you. Uh, they, no, they haven't forgotten about you. Five of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Missing you, they feel lonely. They are missing your care. I feel this person, you know, they feel really good in your company with the Three of Cups and Four of Wands. <laughs> this is very complex read. This is someone who wants to make amends in order to be with you. 
but same but at the same time with the eight of swords this is someone who is still stuck in their old patterns because this person is stuck in their head they are thinking a lot about you that it's true they haven't moved on energetically and on emotional level because we are asking about emotions and we have this eight of swords in their emotions so they haven't moved on emotionally from you that's the thing from this connection I'm going to say something and for some of you might resonate with it I'm getting very strongly that this person now at this this time they are missing you and they have very very strong romantic feelings towards you this is someone who is convinced that you can make them very very happy the question is if they can make you happy because we know that the love is two-way street right It has to be this equal give take. Show me this person's actions towards Gemini. Are we going to have communication action from them? Show me this person's actions towards Gemini, please. course we have oh my gosh look at that ace of wands the ace of uh, ace of wands page of wands ace of cups we have page of wands ace of cups the lovers gemini you might be dealing with another gemini this is the action look page of wands message page of wands essentially it's a messenger ace of cups offering love please accept my offer of love the lovers we should be together it's so clear here you see the cards page of wands ace of cups the lovers this person will reach out this person will send you a message will text you whatever the case might be but they will reach out i see a message and then ace of cups message of affection this person is coming with an offer of love, Gemini, for both of you to be together with the lovers. At the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Hmm? <laughs> Gemini, I'm getting very strongly that you are embodying this energy of Queen of Swords. And I feel that this person will meet with a completely different attitude from your side. So, for instance, if you've been always very sweet, you know, very sweet and, you know, very kind of a loving and caring, meaning very expressive with those emotions, I feel that at this time they might meet with a cold shoulder. I, what I mean is that you might give them a cold shoulder with this Queen of Swords. Because Queen of Swords as an energy, Gemini, it is a very assertive energy. Queen of Swords knows exactly what's going on. And it's open for communication. Sometimes it is <laughs> purely for, 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 queen, for Queen of Swords amusement, you know, but... <laughs> I'm getting very strongly here that for some of you, you might be open for communication just simply out of curiosity to see what this person is going to tell you. But as soon as they will start, you know, pulling their old tricks, I feel that you will have no problem to kind of say, let's stop right there, you know, because Queens of Swords policy is no BS policy. And I'm getting very strongly that you don't trust this person. And, and I'm getting that you might be quite, you know, I don't feel that you will be overly, overly excited and, and um, you know, affectionate towards this person where they will reach out. No, I feel that you will be quite 
quite cold towards them. Oh, I'm getting that, you know, with Queen of Swords, she, she, she is full of proud, you know, and class. I feel that you'll be very classy about this whole thing, but um, you know what you know, you know. So what I am seeing here is that this person will take action big time. We have the page of wands wanting you to accept the offer of love. Please accept me back. I want to be given another chance in love because at the end of the day, you are my soulmate. You are my twin flame. We meant to be together. It just makes sense for us to be together. I don't feel that you trust this person. But let's see. Let's see. Show me the outcome. We have chariot. This is a Cancerian energy. We have the high priestess. We have the two of cups and knight of wands. Seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So what I am seeing, oh, we have also Pisces energy, Gemini. This person will chase you, you know. Chariot is a major energy that can represent chaser. We have the High Priestess. This is this energy of mystery, secret. Something here has been hidden. I can tell you one thing what I see here based on those cards. This person is going to chase you, however, they are hiding a secret. The secret in the form of some sort of connection. Because this person is in energy of Knight of Wands. This is someone who is playing mind games, who's been very in and out, hot and cold, who's, who gets very easily distracted. When they, it's like this person, this is someone who needs attention, who loves attention, who loves attention. And it's like they're coming to get your attention because they haven't moved on emotionally from this connection. But I feel that at the same time, this is someone I, it, it, I'm get yeah, it, it, I feel that, you know, this is someone who's all over the place emotionally. And again, there is something about this person that they have, they have it so deeply rooted. They are so deeply rooted in their habits. I don't know if this, if it's, you know, you know what I mean. Um, with the seven of pentacles. And it's very difficult for this person to change. Gemini, if you want reconciliation with this person, they will reach out. However, what the cards are showing here is to maybe uh, to take things slowly, okay? To, to remember what happened in the past. And I feel that you've been through a lot with this individual. They've put you through a lot. And I feel it's very important to remember. Also to remember, you know, about this person's um, habits. This is someone here who play, who is manipulative, who who is playing mind games, who has secrets, yes, high precious secrets, who is a drama, who has certain things hidden and who might become karmic themselves. But this is something like, you know, it's this person, it's stuck on you. That's why they're coming back. They're going to chase you in your outcome. With the High Priestess, this is someone who will be very mysterious. But we have the Two of Cups. And this is the thing. This is like a, some sort of hidden relationship, hidden connection. I need to be honest. I really... I, I, that's what they're showing me. 
And we have this Knight of Wands, very immature, childish energy. This person, it's very, very, very childish. Irrespective of their age, they can be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, it doesn't matter. Because it's a mindset. This is someone who is who is all over the place. They need to do some, some, some work. This is someone who needs, to, who needs to heal. This is someone who's very insecure. They might be projecting completely different image, but that's just an illusion. We, have, we had seven of cups. Illusion. They're projecting illusions. Um, I feel this is someone who might be also, you know, kind of trying to... Uh, someone who likes to show off maybe a little bit. But yeah, they are very, very, very motivated to kind of win you over. But this is someone who is inconsistent, who is very in and out hot and cold. And I feel that, you know, when there will be this beautiful golden period between the two of you, this person will be giving you so much attention. They will be very kind of loving, caring, romantic, affectionate. But Knight of Wands, it's a runner. And they bringing this indecision, instability. When Knight of Wands is interested, oh yeah, they will give you full attention. But they can get very easily distracted. And next day, you might not hear from them and they might just disappear for another three, three weeks or three months. And they will come back like nothing happened. I'm getting very strongly the fact that we have this Knight of Wands here at the end is that this person is bringing um, this is not this person it's not a consistent one they are very inconsistent and um, And of course, it's up to you, Gemini, if you want to if you want uh, reconciliation with this individual, absolutely, they're coming, they will reach out, they want, they will come with an offer of love for both of you to be together. And this is someone who will, who will try very hard, they will chase you. But this is also a runner. And I feel that they brought this energy to this connection, chase a runner dynamic. Mm hmm. And again, with the High Priestess and the Two of Cups, they are hiding something here. This is, this is relationship connection or romantic kind of situation. This is someone who is not fully transparent. And it feels like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. It's so difficult to change this person's mindset with the Seven of Pentacles. This is something that is like a routine for them. Overall energy for this connection, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, it, I feel that, you know, you have history with this person and maybe you are invested at the end of the day in this connection. This person, obviously, equally based on this reading, emotionally, it, they cannot move on from you. That's why they are coming back. And when they're probably leaving and they're coming back again and when they are leaving and it's just like a, you know, being in a loop. But this is, I'm getting someone who is like emotionally um, and, you know, on, on emotional level, I feel this is someone who is not ready for a serious commitment relationship because they are they playing games and it feels like they like the game so what I am getting here that indeed this person will chase you Gemini will chase you and you know 
for some of you if you want reconciliation with this individual the re reconciliation is very much possible but um listen to your intuition especially with this high priestess as well listen to your intuition gemini about this person because they are showing up in a knight of wands energy player in and out hot and cold someone inconsistent and indecisive and 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 again it's like they don't they don't want to make a decision they might come and promise you everything and and more but are they going to deliver that's a different story right nevertheless of course for some of you if you want to reconcile with this individual absolutely this this person is coming uh, with an offer of love but um they have secrets and they are in this energy of knight of wands in and out hot and cold childish immature knight of wands it's a good fun but it's that energy it's, it's very difficult to have a serious relationship with knight of wands i would say nearly impossible because of them being here there there doing this this being interested when gets, getting very easily distracted or being interested in so many things that they don't even have time to be focused on connection or you in this case nevertheless expect this person to reach out to you gemini gemini i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you and gemini have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me love and light till next time take care bye